How's it going guys welcome back today's video is going to be a little bit different to usual I'm going to go through my trade assistant how you can download and install it on MetaTrader 4 and the settings that I use obviously for it to work within MT4 so first of all what you can see is I am on the MQL5 homepage right here and what you'll notice is if I just click on this is that the trade assistant for MT5 and MT4 is actually half price at the moment so you know, if I do post this video and it's still half price, I don't know how long this does last for, but if it's still half price, I would, you know, recommend jumping on this, grabbing this, and it is really cheap. I think I did pay around £40 for it, so, and to be honest, it has made my trading a lot easier. I don't have to manually enter numbers on MT4 on my mobile or enter, you know, numbers manually on MT4 on my Mac. Um, I can just literally click a button and then I'll be in a trade. So, obviously, as you can see, the one that I am using is if I actually just go over to my profile and then click on purchase. Um, the one I'm using is the trade assistant for MT4. So, you know, purchase and download the one that is most relevant to you. If you've got MT5, obviously you will need the one for MT5. So once you have purchased it, what you can then do, obviously once you once you go to purchase it, what they'll ask you to do is they will ask you to create an account and obviously you need to do this in order to get it onto the MT4 app. So once you have done that and once you have purchased it, you can then head over to your MetaTrader 4. So as you can see, once I open up my MetaTrader 4, I'm just on a random demo account right here just to obviously so I can show you how it works. And then once you are on here, what you can do then is you can come to the bottom right here where it says trade. Um, you'll probably be on this screen anyway and then you can go ahead scroll all the way across to market once you click on market you can then come up to this bar here scroll all the way across to purchased and then once you click on that as you can see it will show all of your purchased um, you know things from like mql5 and then you can click on obviously it'll say install here once you install it what it will do is it will come over here under expert advisors and then you can then click and drag it on to your chart once you click and drag it on, it will bring up all of these options here. It will obviously be on this page. What you can do then is you can come over to where it says imports, click on imports. So what I've done personally is I've saved a preset. So when I open up MetaTrader 4 every morning, I can then load a preset and it just keeps all of my settings in one place. So I'll just go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see, these would be my settings. So trade assistant settings dot set, click on open. And then as you can see, it will change a couple of things. So actually, if I just click on it, it would help. So as you can see now, my settings are on here. And what you will notice is I have a fixed risk to reward of one to five, which you can see by looking at these numbers right here. So for example, if I wanted to change my risk to reward, what I could do is I can change this to, you know, maybe one to 10, um, one to two, one to three, um, whatever it may be. And then once you have done that, that will be my fixed risk to reward. So Every time I move my stop loss, what it will do is it will move my take profit to accommodate that. And then um, what I've done then is I've changed the risk calculation to currency. So to do this, you can double click on it, click on the drop down menu and you can have it as your as a percentage of your balance if you want to do that. But for me personally, at the moment, I'm just doing, um, you know, a, a part of my currency. So for example, if I've got an £100,000 account and I want to risk 1%, I will just risk £1,000. So that's pretty much it for, you know, most of the things that I did change other than a couple of colours. If I just come down, as you can see, I've changed the colours because once you do download it, it's like a sort of like a bluey greeny color i didn't really like it and it, it just stuck out like a sore thumb so what i've done is i've changed the the panel color to these colors right here you can change them to these if you want um, and make it look similar to mine but what you can do then is obviously click on ok once you have loaded your presets once you've changed all of your settings make sure to click on save right here and then just save a preset of your settings and then once you you know open mt4 every morning you can come in click on load um, you load up your presets and then click on ok once you do that, as you can see, you'll get this little box right here. And, you know, this is where the fun comes in, guys, because using this has actually changed my trading quite a lot. It's just made it a lot easier, in all honesty. So, first of all, as you can see, my risk reward is here, 1 to 5. So, uh, a 1 stop loss to 5 TP. So, every time I move my stop loss, like I'll show you in a minute, um, what you've got here is this is what it will look like once it has loaded up. So, you'll have sell, buy, sell, stop, buy, stop, sell, limit, buy, limit. Um, you know, obviously, the buttons that you need if you want to change your risk as you can see here at the moment it's one pound but for example if i put in one thousand what you will notice is i will be risking one thousand and then it will obviously calculate your lot size so if i just put it back down to one just for this example here and then as you can see my lot my lot size has now then changed again 
and you know what you can do then is click on lines once you click on lines what it will do is it will bring up this box right here and then as i said before um you know if you move your stop loss as you can see my take profit is getting wider if you have a you know a tighter stop loss your take profit will be tighter and you know this will be a risk to reward a fixed risk reward two one to five and you know it's really useful you know i can just move my stop loss click on click on buy and then we're in the trade so for example if i just want to get into this trade i would click on buy bang click on buy i'm in the trade and then what you can do is you can click on this um to bring this back over and then what you will notice at the moment i have a you know a break even point set so once price does pass this break even point at 2r what it will do is it will move my stop loss to here and to do this what you can do is you come over to this section you can then come over to settings and then you will need to head over to other so once you click on other as you can see you can then look at going break even so if you want to go break even make sure this is ticked right here and then you can change it to you know whatever you want you can do it to obviously 2r you can click on this drop down menu here and um, you can do it to the percentage to the points and um you know if you want to offset you know spreads and commissions what you can do is you can click on this right here um you know if i want to remove these all i need to do is untick these click on apply and then as you can see that has then been removed and then if you want these back on what you can do is just click on break even click on offset spread and commission click on apply and then as you can see they will appear again so that's really useful if you want to go break even automatically if not what you can do is you can go back over to trade you can click on obviously this here and then you can click on break even here to go break even manually um, you can take partials also so as you can see it'll say close percent here and 50 um, if you want to change this so for example if you wanted to ch um, take partials you know at say 80 percent what you would do is you would put 80 percent in here and then click on close um, you know i won't click this because it'll just close the old position down because i've not got enough obviously risk on this trade but what you can do is click on close 80 percent and then that will close 80 percent partials so to close this trade right here what you can do is you can click on close sell or close buy depending on what direction you are trading in and you can click on delete orders if you have a limit order set or you know whatever it may be so actually this trade is actually moving on a little bit so what i can do is i'll just show you the break even process here and so if i want to go break even right now so price is around here and if i want to go break even just click on break even as you can see it then literally moves my stop loss to break even and then one thing i will mention as well because if you don't know what to do it's actually quite confusing to begin with so if i click on lines as you can see it will just open a buy position automatically so if you want to go short what you can do is click if i just move this across is just click on this little button right here and then what it will do is it will flip the position so then you can enter a sell if you want to do that and you know it's just that simple it makes your trading a lot more simple in my opinion and to be fair it just saves you from entering you know numbers into the mt4 app and yeah those are my mt4 trade assistant settings guys if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section down below if i can help you out i will if this video did help you out please leave a like on today's video and i will see you in the next one